Hello and welcome to this 45 minute prenatal yoga flow. As you know, I'm Molly McConnell. And as always, please do remember to take this practice at your own pace, listen to your body, and just know that the practice might feel totally different today than it has on other days. And that is okay. If you'd like to have props today, you're welcome to use a block or a blanket for a little extra support, but you don't need them. It's up to you if that would make you more comfortable. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and make our way to a seated position on our mats. Sitting comfortably, you can cross the legs. You can always take a blanket folded for support under the sit bones. Sometimes that brings a little relief into the hip flexors. And before we come to stillness, just by the little movement, could be a shift side to side, could be a circle of the torso, the head or neck in either direction. Could be a shrug of the shoulders or a rolling. Taking this opportunity to just notice the places that are a little bit tight. Starting to send the breath to those places. And when you're ready, meet me in stillness. Option to close your eyes. Just notice the breath. Feeling that flowing in and out, up and down the spine. See if you can relax the jaw, relax the hip flexors, relax the shoulder blades down the back. Find a little lift up of the heart to sit nice and tall, a reaching up of the crown of the head as the sit bones ground down heavy. Finding length in the spine as you breathe. And we'll transition into our Ujjayi breath by taking a deep inhale in through the nose and then exhale out through the nose. Doing our best to maintain a slight constriction in the back of the throat. So when we exhale, it might feel like we're fogging up a window or a mirror using that deep, slow, warm breath. Letting the sound of your breath be audible, that ocean whisper. And if at any point this breath isn't feeling quite right, you could always transition to inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth or whatever is most comfortable for you today. This is your practice. Give yourself three more deep breaths right here. Settling into the body. The eyes are closed. You can gently blink them open. Take a moment to reverse the cross of the feet, putting the other foot on top or in front. Bring the fingertips to the earth at your sides and inhale to reach out and up to the sky. Then exhale, retrace all the way back down to the earth, chin to chest. Let's repeat that. Inhale, reach up, look up, lengthen. 
and exhale all the way down. Once more like that. Inhale up to the sky. And exhale lower. Bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, pull the shoulders down, lift the heart up. Relax the hip flexors. Take a couple nice deep breaths here. You can twist from side to side, ever so slightly if that would feel good. Or take the gaze from side to side. But continue to breathe. Maybe lift the hands farther from the body to deepen the stretch. One more breath. Release. Bring the hands to the knees. Shrug the shoulders to the ears and roll them down the back two more times. Beautiful, fingertips to the earth, inhale up to the sky. Bring the palms together, interlace the fingers, press the palms up, drop the shoulders down, relax the hip flexors, take a little side stretch gently, try to keep both shoulders in one plane. The top shoulder might like to round forward, try to open it up. Come back to center. Lengthening and then arc up and over to the other side. Relax the shoulders. Open that top shoulder up. Feel both sit bones pressing into the earth. This movement can be very small. Let's do one more to each side. Come through center, lengthen, and exhale. Over to one side. At any point, this is too much. You could always release one hand to the earth as well. Let's come back through center. Exhale up and over. Same option to release a hand to the earth. One more breath. Center. Press the palms toward me, round through the spine, gently press into the space between the shoulder blades, tuck the chin. And come back up, release the hands to the earth in front of you, make your way to a tabletop. We'll take a few rounds of cat-cow before transitioning into our downward dog. So in our tabletop, our hands are about under our shoulders, knees under our hips. You could always take a blanket under the knees for more support. Let's move through a gentle cat cow. So we inhale, gaze lifts, and heart reaches forward ever so slightly. Be very gentle with the belly. And exhale, round through the spine. Now draw your belly, your baby, up and in. Inhale, belly sinks down, heart reaches forward ever so slightly. Shoulder blades slide down the back, gaze lift. And exhale, draw the belly in, gently round through the spine. Let's do one more round of cat-cow, inhaling. And exhaling. Coming back through center, you could take a moment to shift the hips from side to side. And when you're ready, we will tuck the toes and send the hips up and back for a downward facing dog, setting the feet as wide as you need to feel spacious, keeping as much of a bend in the knees as you need. And if it feels good, go ahead and walk it out. Bending into one knee and then the other. Shifting the weight in between the hips. Lifting the heels, turning the gaze from side to side. Taking any movement that would feel best in this first downward dog of our practice. 
and returning to those nice, deep breaths. Three more breaths here. Knowing that you could always lower down to hands and knees in your tabletop if downward dog is feeling like too much. And from here, walk the feet to the hands or the hands to the feet, or maybe a little bit of both to come to a forward fold. Again, setting the feet as wide as you need here, bending the knees a little. And let's inhale, halfway lift, press into the shins, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, soften, melt, forward fold. Now bend the knees a lot, ground down through the heels and see if you can reach out and rise up to stand. Fingers might touch overhead. And exhale, hands come down and around to heart center. Pause here for a moment. Breathing, make sure the knees are not locked. Feeling the weight in the feet. Let's inhale up to the sky. This time, exhale, bend the elbows, lift the heart up. Inhale here, exhale round through the spine, draw the forearms together. Inhale, open up. Exhale, press back up to the sky. You can bring the palms together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale it out. Inhale, elbows down. Exhale, press the forearms. Inhale, open up. Exhale, press back up to the sky. Inhale, cactus, heart lifts. Exhale, round forearms together. Inhale, open up, cactus. And exhale, press up to the sky. Let's lower the right wrist, right arm down, circling the wrist as you do. Make your right hand parallel with the earth as if you were pressing on a table. And we'll reach the left arm up and over, adjusting the placement of the feet as you need here. Lowering the left hand down, flex the left palm, and reach the right arm up and over. Relax the shoulders. And lower the right arm down. Bring both arms and press them out to the sides. Soften the elbows. Inhale and exhale, press, feeling a nice stretch along the forearm. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, press. Pause here, drop the chin to the chest and take some half circles with the head. Taking your time, smoothing it out, gently pressing through the wrist, through the heel of the hand. If it would feel more comfortable, you can also bring your hands down in the diagonal. You can pause in any points that feel a little sticky and take some extra breath there, making sure the knees are not locked. Couple more breaths here. Gently engaging the arm muscles. Being back in center, release the arms to the sides. Shake them out just a little bit, maybe take a little twist. A gentle twist, letting the arms get heavy. Good, beautiful. Let's take a wide stance on our mats while we're standing. Wide stance, toes point out on the diagonal. Inhale your hands up to the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Inhale, reach back up. 
Exhale, sink down. Inhale, lengthen. Let's do three more rounds on your own. Maybe with our arms extended to the sky when you're ready. Hands come around behind the back. Let's interlace the fingers once more, but try to reverse the weave. So put the other pinky on top, different from the one that was on top when we did this seated. Maybe adjust the feet so they're parallel. Maybe take a little shift from side to side. Or if you're feeling it, you could soften the knees and hinge down. You decide what you need here. Gently opening the heart. Two more breaths. Release the hands. If you're folded forward, gently come up halfway. And all the way. Separating the fingers. Letting the arms float out to the sides. Let's take a warrior two. Turning the left toes to point forward, parallel with the long edge of your mat. And the right foot is parallel with the short edge of the mat. We're sinking the hips down and bending into that left knee over the left ankle. You can adjust the stance to be a little wider if you'd like. Sink it down. And then inhale, straighten both legs, reach up to the sky. Fingers can, palms can touch at the top or reach up in a V. Let's inhale, bend into that left knee, warrior two, arms parallel. Gaze follows the left fingers as we exhale, press up. Inhale, sink down. Exhale, rise up. One more, inhale, sink down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> sink down. We're gonna gently reverse our warrior to get into the side body to open up some space in the ribs. So the right hand is gonna come down to the right thigh or to the low back as the left hand sweeps up to lengthen and slightly over. So there's a slight arc back, but we wanna emphasize the length through the spine more than anything so that we're not collapsing through the low back. Reaching through the left fingertips, relax that left shoulder. Feel the left pinky spiral in. Gently take the gaze up. One more inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, extend, turn the right toes parallel or the left toes parallel with the right. Open up to your warrior two on the other side. Right toes parallel with the long edge of the mat. Left foot parallel with the short edge. The right heel could about draw a line to the arch of the left foot. Fingers reaching in opposite directions. Hips are low and the right knee is over the right ankle. And we're breathing. Sink the hips a little lower. And then inhale, reach up, rise up. Gaze lifts as we extend the right leg. Exhale, sink down, warrior two arms parallel to the earth. Gaze follows the right fingers. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift. Look up. Exhale, sink down. Maybe this time as you lift, feel your pelvic floor. Let's do one more. Take your time. Maybe in warrior two, 
to reverse. We'll flip the palms. Left hand comes down the left leg or to the low back. And we'll reach the right fingers up to lengthen and then let them arc over ever so slightly. The emphasis is on the length of the spine. Keeping a nice bend in the right knee. Relax the right shoulder. Feel those pinkies spiraling in. You can adjust the stance closer or farther if you'd like. One more breath. Layer two. Extend the right leg, turn the toes in. Good, hands come down. And let's step the feet in just a bit. Well, actually, just a bit smaller, a little wider than hip width. We're gonna come into our yogi squat, malasana. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Exhale, sink the hips back, 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 and all the way down to wherever is comfortable for you. Hands can be on the earth. You could always take the block at any height and sit on it. You could also bring the heels a bit closer if that gives you a little more space to lower down. You can sway or shift your weight from side to side. Or you could pause in stillness with hands at heart center, opening up the heart, pressing the shoulder blades down and back to create a straight spine. If your hands are on the earth, it's okay to round the spine just a little bit. Let's give it two more breaths. Release the hands to the floor if they're not there. And gently send the hips up to the sky and meet me in a forward fold. Hands can be on the earth or on a block for support. Bending the knees as much as you'd like here. Let the head hang heavy. Maybe take a little sway from side to side. You could shake the head no or not a yes. You could always take a rag doll as well, tucking the hands into opposite elbow creases and letting the body hang even more. You could take a couple exhales out through the mouth here or stretch the face really wide. Maybe scrunching it really small and really wide again. I need a little release through the jaw as you do that. And continuing to breathe. When you're ready, we will make our way back to our downward facing dog. Walking the feet out and the hands out. Feet can be as wide as you'd like to have space for the belly. Fingers spread wide. And just take a couple of deep breaths in your downward dog. Noticing if it's feeling a little different than when we began our practice. Noticing if you're feeling more space in the body. You can walk it out, take any movement that your body is asking for. This is your practice. It feels good. Take an inhale through the nose and then exhale it out through the mouth. And when you're ready, we we'll lower our hand or our knees back to the earth, coming into our tabletop position and taking some circles with the hips. If you need a little more space, you could walk the hands forward a couple inches. You could always take a blanket for support under the knees. Letting these circles be as wide and as slow as you'd like. 
And we'll go ahead and come back to center and reverse other direction. Just letting your movement flow. Creating a little more space around the tailbone, around the pelvis. Breathing deeply as you move, as small or as large as you'd like. And coming back to center. Make sure the hands are under the shoulders once more and just take a moment to drop the left elbow down to a hover, start to twist your body a little bit away from that elbow. So twisting the body toward the right, twisting the ribs toward the right. Come back to center, drop the right elbow down, twist the ribs to the left, but really keep the hips in place. If that felt good, do one more on each side. Good, come back to center. Meet me in a child's pose. Knees as wide as you'd like, hips sink back. Palms can stack and make a resting place for the forehead. You could also rest the forehead on a block or on a blanket. Just let yourself sink down into your child's pose. Returning to your breath. Deep inhales and deep exhales. Listening to the sound of your breath, signaling the body to relax, signaling that you are safe, you are secure, you are exactly where you need to be. Give yourself two more breaths to soften into this child's pose. As you're ready, gently press into the hands, press yourself up to seated, sit your hips over onto one side, bring the feet around in front of you, toes pointing forward. Let's take a seated figure four. So the right ankle is going to come to the top of the left thigh. You can always adjust the placement. Maybe go to the top of the left thigh. You can always adjust the placement of that right foot. You can bring it closer or farther from the body. With the left foot, the foot on the ground, you can adjust the placement of. Gentle flex in the right foot, lifting the heart up. They are not collapsing, sinking the heart down, lift it up. As you inhale, sitting tall, you could take a gentle rock from side to side with the legs, if that supports your stretch. Relax the jaw, take some nice deep breaths into the hips here. Continue to lift up through the heart. Take two more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful. Switch it out, lowering the right foot down, bringing the left ankle to the top of the right thigh, and adjusting the placement of that right foot on the earth as you'd like. It could be closer or farther from the body, depending on what stretch feels best for you. Feel the shoulder blades sliding down the back, almost squeezing together. As the heart lifts up, you relax the sides of the neck, gentle flex in the left foot, and maybe the hips rock from side to side, creating a little more space. Or you can pause in stillness, maintaining that lift of the heart, adjusting the hands if you need to reposition. And then just breathe into the hips. Sending the breath wherever it needs to go. Relax the forehead. Soften the jaw. And give it two more breaths right here. Release that right leg. Extend both legs long. Maybe give the knees a little wiggle. And then we'll take the legs wide into a straddle position, gently moving the flesh away from the sit bones. We'll take a side stretch over to the right first, bringing the right hand to the top of the right thigh or leg. Left arm sweeps up and over. if you'd like, you can also experiment with bringing the right elbow to the thigh, making a fist with the hand, and resting the head there. The left arm could come bending the elbow gently behind the head, elbow lifting up, or it could continue to drape over. You decide about the placement of the right hand. Can you spiral the heart a little more up to the sky? Relax the shoulders away from the ears. And give it one more deep breath. Come back to center. Relax in center. Take a full breath in. And now, other side. Left arm down the left leg, right arm sweeps up and over, shoulder drawing back into the socket, lengthening through the side body from the hip all the way to the ribs. Same option to plant the left elbow into the thigh and make a fist to rest the head. You can experiment with that. You could experiment with the placement of the top arm behind the head as well, still spiraling open to the ceiling. You choose your arm variation, relax the shoulders, take the gaze up to the sky if you can, and find length and ease in the neck. For one more breath. Back up to center. Take a deep inhale in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more like that, inhale, exhale. One more inhale, let it go. Then gently walk the hands out, coming to a forward fold at the top of your mat. This is another place where you could use a block under the forearms or a blanket. You could lower the elbows and rest the chin on the hands, or just keep the forearms down or fingertips. Fingertips might be the best. And just gently lengthening through the spine. And 
Nice deep breaths. If you find a little more space in the body, you can always creep the fingertips out another millimeter or so. But continue relaxing the shoulders. Relax the feet, relax the hips. Give yourself three more deep, slow breaths. Gently walk the hands in toward the body. Gently bring the feet back into a comfortable seated position. We'll do a few rounds of our pelvic floor exercises to take a moment to allow yourself to sit comfortably. The legs could be crisscross or you could sit on the heels. You can always use a blanket for support near the sit bones. And before we really begin, begin, see if you can feel into the pelvic floor. See if you can find it and engage it, feel it drawing in and up, very, very internal. See if you can keep the glutes relaxed. And as you're finding that engagement, it might help to have that visualization of a line being drawn from the belly button to the tailbone. And as you exhale to engage your pelvic floor, you're trying to make the two points on the end of that line meet in the center. So part of engaging our pelvic floor is gently drawing the belly in and up as well, but relaxing the glutes. So find that engagement. Pulling the belly in and lifting the pelvic floor. And in just a moment, we'll do a couple rounds of holding our pelvic floor for six seconds to start, and then eight seconds and then 10 seconds. So we'll do three rounds. Okay, so when you're ready, let's take an inhale to prepare. Exhale it all out. Now inhale, draw in and up for two, three, four, five, six. Release. Good. You know what? Let's try that again. And we'll draw in on the exhale this time. I think that'll be a little easier. We'll do one round of eight and two rounds of 10. Drawing in on the exhale. So we inhale to prepare. Exhale it all out. Inhale once more. Exhale, draw in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release, inhale. Good. We'll take another round to eight. And again, when we draw in, we're holding that pelvic floor engagement for eight seconds. So let's inhale to prepare. Exhale it all out. We inhale. And exhale, draw in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release, inhale. Last round. Inhale to prepare. Exhale it all out. We inhale. 
exhale, draw in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release, inhale. Return into your normal breath. And we'll do one round of 10 contractions. So what you're going to do for this is take an inhale to prepare, exhale it out, inhale. Then you're gonna exhale, 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 exhale. You're gonna do about 10 quick exhales. The inhale will just come passively in between. So don't forget to inhale. We'll exhale, exhale, exhale to draw in each time. And so I'll, on your exhale, I'll cue you by saying in, 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 um, and that is where the engagement will be. Okay, 10 rounds. Let's inhale to prepare. Exhale it out. Inhale once more. Begin. Draw in two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I counted on the in, in, in. But hopefully you've got it. Take a moment to relax, release, soften your forehead. Take a couple of deep breaths, just feeling that. We're going to transition to our final resting pose really good in your seated position, stay here. If you'd like to take a child pose, child's pose with the head supported by the hands, gently transition to that now. Or you can lay on the side, maybe using a blanket for support under the head or between the knees. Just settle into whatever position the body is asking for. Give yourself just a few moments of rest after that practice. Letting the breath wash over the body. As you inhale from the toes all the way up to the crown of the head. And exhaling all the way back down. That breath wash over you, wash through you, feeling the inhale gently filling up around the belly. Just letting yourself relax, giving yourself permission to rest. Just be exactly where you are in this moment. You are safe. You are secure. Continuing to quiet the mind, letting each individual thought float by one at a time not feeling the need to ask questions or to add details. Just letting your thoughts, your emotions exist exactly as they are in this moment. And letting yourself exist exactly as you are. And always, always remembering, I am whole, I am complete, I am enough. Wow. 
have the gift of time. You can continue to rest longer. Or if you're ready to complete your practice today, gently begin to bring your awareness back into this space. If you're not there already, you can make your way slowly up into a comfortable, seated position. There's no rush. Please take your time. Relax the shoulders away from the ears as you sit nice and tall. Bring the fingertips to the earth at your side as we inhale to reach out and up to the sky. And exhale, retrace all the way back down to the earth. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, reach out and up. Palms might touch at the top or fingertips. Exhale, retrace, grounding back down into the body. Last time like that, inhale up to the sky. And exhale it down. Now we inhale up to the sky, draw the palms together. Bring both hands down to forehead center and all the way down to heart center. Thank you so, so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for taking the time to care for yourself, for your body, and for your baby. I bow to the divine light that shines within you. Namaste.